Well, the Tigers did not win, but that is not why this will go down as a home opener that no one will ever forget. That's right. No fans in attendance as the two teams combined for eight home runs. Unfortunately, six of them were hit by the Royals. Let's get to Jason Colthorpe. He's live at Comerica. So, Jason, just how strange was it being there? No fans. It had to be crazy. So strange, Kimberly, that, well, there's nobody interrupting our live shot right now. So strange that there wasn't that one party after another filling up the streets. But it was July 27th, and even though that was the date on the calendar, many people came down here because they weren't going to miss opening day. How strange was opening day 2020 at Comerica? Good parking spots were easy to come by. Lots were empty enough for a game of a wiffle ball. A crew was able to pour concrete in front of the stadium one hour before the first pitch and not once get accosted by a drunk fan hoping to leave an impression. I'm real estate now. <laughs> so strange that last year's worst seat was one of this year's best. It is the best seat in the house. <laughs> The only seat in the house. <laughs> it, it's weird. It's a whole different experience. Better still were the seats atop the Detroit Athletic Club that some folks like Max Warren were able to snag. See, I can see every single player. I can see the ball being hit, and I can see I can see everyone but the guy in the uh, center field. Despite it being the weirdest opening day ever, it's still tradition for many people. We come every year. Okay, now you answer my question. Every year. Yeah, we come every years, year. Coming down. In 85, when we got the rings, that was amazing. Especially for Scott Paul, who's taking in his 53rd Tigers opener. It doesn't matter what you are, your background, your color, your creed, your political ambitions. We are all Tigers fans today. And for fans, they still found a way to make their cheering heard from a social distance. Let's go Tigers! Let's go Tigers! And you know, considering a lot of Scott Paul's memories on opening day were about how cold it was or snow falling, the fact it was a gorgeous day weather-wise, maybe that's the one good thing we can take away. But guys, I, I'm telling you, I cannot stress enough that there is a curing <laughs> piece of concrete over there <laughs> unmolested tonight, <laughs> sitting there Strange. clean. Wow. It's amazing. Really extraordinary. You. And it, it, it's such a nice scene behind you there with the lights, and yet you're all alone. Yeah. <laughs> it is very, very strange. I know. Yeah. All alone in this brand new part of town. <laughs> All right, Jason. Uh, Bernie's going to have full highlight, unfortunately, of a loss tonight. Tigers lose it 14-6. to He's coming up later on in sports.